Hello and welcome to Weekend Projects. I'm Bree Pettis and every week I bring a project that you can make over the weekend. This week we're going to make a foxhole radio. During World War II, GIs got really clever and made up really cool radios that were super simple so that they could listen to radio stations. There were German stations you could listen to and sometimes you even got lucky and heard an English station. To make this project you're going to need a toilet paper tube, you're going to need a safety pin, a bunch of thumbtacks, and a razor blade. Oh, and you're going to need some magnet wire and a board to put it all on, plus an antenna, which is just a long wire. I'm just going to use some wire I scrounged out of a Cat6 cable, and you need for the ground, I'm just going to use some of that same wire as well. All right, let's make it. For the coil, I'm using magnet wire. That's because it's got a non-conductive coating. GIs in the field would have found stuff like this in motors, or they could have just used regular wire and coated it with varnish. You can attach it with tape before you wind it up, or put a hole in it and tie it on. That'll keep it from slipping as you wind it up. I'm trying this again, and I've poked a hole in here so I can tie the wire on, and now I'm just going to slide this over the drill press. Mm, it's going the wrong way. That definitely didn't work, and I, so I tried it with a hand drill, and that definitely didn't work. You've got to hand wind this thing. The next thing I did is I put the whole thing together according to this schematic. I'll include this in the PDF so you can check it out. All right, so I've got my coil here, and I'm using paper clips and thumbtacks to attach things together. There's no soldering involved in this project. You can just wire everything up. This is the detector, and it's got a cat whisker and a razor blade. What you've got here is you've got a safety pin and a little pencil lead here. This hooks up to the antenna. This hooks up to ground. These hook up to the earphone, which I've got right here. Okay, now I just tried this out and it didn't work. And I think the reason why is that this razor blade hasn't been blued. They used this special type of blued razor blade back in World War II. And blued razor blades, basically what that means, they he it's been heated up really hot so that it turns blue. And I think that makes it stay sharper longer. So I'm going to have to actually make this blue myself. I've got this all set up on metal so it won't burn, and I've got it in vice grips attached to little clamps that are attached to the razor blade so that this can get as hot as possible and not get a lot of heat going this way. Let's try this out. All right, now I'm by the window, and I'm doing that because I've got the antenna going out the window and the ground hooked up to the radiator here as a ground. And what I've done is I've taken the little cat whisker and I've adjusted that, and now through the earphone, I can hear radio. It's like a talk radio show. I can just faintly hear it, but it's enough to understand it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up to the camera. I've attached a little uh, jack from a headphone, and I'll plug this right in. But the point of the matter is, I would have said bell check, not go. Okay. Don't try it on me. Okay. Yeah, you know what yeah, the And no. if he did it, I'd set it up that he got caught. But I would at least give him a chance to not go. This is a great project for you to get started in radio. This is the same radio that GIs used as they were in foxholes in Europe. And it's really simple and really fun. And it doesn't use any batteries. All the power comes straight out of the air, the radio waves. Okay, go out there. Make yourself a radio. Have a great weekend.